Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be doing another Hollyoaks Q&A. This one will be my Hollyoaks Q&A, part Okay, cool. And I'd like to thank Amy Patton who sent me these Q and A questions. Um, I did mention in the video that I will be posting. That I would have posted Friday. If you're watching this, it should be Monday, um, unless you're watching it later than what I've posted it. Uh, but I'm filming this on Friday today. But I'm going to be releasing it on Monday. <coughs> anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me. God. If you guys have your own Q&A questions, all you have to do, uh, come out this video, click on my name, which will take you to the homepage of my channel, click on the About tab in the channel, and you'll find everything you need there to send me your Q&A questions and video suggestions on Hollyoaks. Um, you can also just comment them to me in a video. So as I would have mentioned in my video, which might have been Friday, or it might have been the discussion topic, I said that the uh, podcast will come back next week, Monday. Um should be the 13th or possibly the week after um so yeah they should be returning soon basically so yeah let's get into some q a questions the first one here i'll do two questions in this q a and then i'll do some more um you should see some more on tuesday uh so yeah the first question is who do you think ziggy will choose leela or tegan um so if you watched my q a part 29 you would have heard me talk about this a little bit um, but I'll basically talk about it a little bit more, just a bit more in depth. You've kind of got this situation where T Leela, Tegan, Ziggy, uh, they're all living together, right? They're all living uh, together. Cameron isn't living there at the moment, uh, although he's kind of popping around to see, because Perry's his daughter, um, so he has a right to pop around there. He's not popping around there to kind of see Leela or try and get back with her. That's not kind of what's happening at the moment. It's more sort of like... He's just going around there to see Perry and see how she is with school and with the pregnancy and stuff like that. So he's got a right to go around there, although what he did was pretty horrible. Um, it was kind of an accident, but then he could have fixed the accident a little bit uh, with the whole hit, whole hit and run thing on Sam and Danny. Um, of course, he hit them and then he just drove off, which is a straight hit and run. Um, so you've kind of got him in there, but I don't... Th I think that he will get back with Leela, and I think Tegan will end up back with Ziggy. So I think Ziggy will get married to Leela and choose Tegan, just because I don't, I kind of feel like Tegan's better with Ziggy. Um, we did see in the hospital recently with the episode where, because um, obviously Tegan is on her, um, she's on the uh, hospital bed thing, <coughs> and she's got the, um, I think it's, uh, what do you call it? The chemotherapy machine thing. She's got that hooked up to her, and then she's also has to, she also has to have that um, operation that she needs, um, which I think is Dee Dee. Um, yeah, is a she is a match for um, Tegan, and they said that they were going to go ahead with the surgery. So Tegan should be okay because uh, the illness that she had. Uh, Doctor Savar said that she needs a transplant. I think he said kidney or something. Not hundred percent. I can't remember which part of the body it was, but he said that she needed a um, transplant, and Dee Dee was like the only match they found, so they're gonna need to use Dee Dee. Um, See, so yeah, I think Ziggy will get back with Tegan. When we saw her on a hospital bed, we saw the whole thing with like them writing notes to each other because they couldn't hear each other through the um, the little window. I don't know whether it was soundproof or something like that, but um, I don't know. It might just be hard to hear or something like that. And then they were kind of writing notes to each other, and then she was like, I have something to tell you, and then he's like, what is it? And then that was our chance to kind of say, you know, I have feelings for you, cancel this wedding, kind of thing. Um, you know, I really want to be with you, that kind of thing. But um, instead she just said, you know, have 
you know, enjoy your wedding, get married, that kind of thing. I can't remember exactly what she wrote, but that was it was along the lines of that. Um, but I think Ziggy will kind of... I think Ziggy and Tegan do have a better friendship as well, and it, sometimes relationships work better when you have a better friendship with someone to begin with. Um, doesn't necessarily make it better, but um, some, in some cases it does. Um, so yeah, I think he'll choose Tegan, and then I think... Uh, Cameron will kind of worm his way back in with Perry. I think he'll be like a really good dad to Perry. And then maybe Leela will forgive him. She has dirt on him anyway. With the whole uh, murder thing and that. Um, so yeah I think Leela. Sorry I think Ziggy will get back with Tegan. And then I think Leela will end up back with um, Cameron. Um, because I think he'll be a good father to Perry. Yeah. Okay next question is. Do you think Leela will let Perry see Tom again? I think she has to. I think she has to let them see each other again because this is, you know, at their age, I think they're 15, uh, 14, 15, they're around that age anyway. Uh, young kind of teen, young, middle middle to young teenage age, I think. Um, or they're around, around 15, something like that. Um, yeah, I think she has to let them see each other again because of this pregnancy thing, not just because they are in a relationship. Um, I think it might be, the situation wouldn't, you know, I think she ha she has to, you know, because, like, Perry needs the support, all the support she can get at the moment, and she said that to Cameron as well, she said, you know, the only reason I'm going to let you stick around is because of Perry, and she basically said, if Perry wasn't pregnant, I wouldn't let you back in our lives at all, kind of thing, which is understandable, uh, you can understand where it is coming from, you know, Perry needs all the, all the support she can get at the moment from all of her family. And that includes Tom, you know, the uh, father of the child. Uh, I don't think they've named it yet. I don't think they have. There might have been an article that I've missed or something like that. But, um, yeah, I think she has to let them see each other again. Um, purely just because of this baby thing. The situation wouldn't be what it was if, um, you know, the stakes wouldn't be as high if um, there wasn't a pregnancy storyline there. But then there wouldn't be... A confrontation sort of reason to not let them see each other if you guys know what I mean here like there's a confrontational reason at the moment because of the pregnancy but then you kind of because of their age you have to let them see each other because they need both they both need all the support they can get I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to get out here um, but if the pregnancy wasn't there then there wouldn't be that confrontational sort of situation and then, um, you know, but then the storyline wouldn't be there altogether, so the situation would be completely different. Um, yeah, so that wraps up this Q&A part 28. Uh, parts 20, sorry, 29 this is. Uh, parts 30 and I think maybe 31, 32 and possibly 33 will come next week. I am going to be doing the uh, breakdown trailer. I'll record it on Monday. Uh, but I'll post it Tuesday because I'm busy on Tuesday and I can't record. But I can uh, post the video on Tuesday. But um, yeah, I'll record like a quite lengthy breakdown of the trailer. There's a lot to digest, and I hope it goes on for longer than 15 minutes because I kind of want to use that feature. And this is a re that's a really good opportunity to use it with uh, discussion topics and Q and A's and character spotlights and predictions. Maybe the predictions I could go on a bit longer. That's kind of a prediction video anyway. But um. Yeah, I have two more Q&A questions here from Amy, and I have a bunch from Louise. Uh, so thank you, Louise, for sending me in so many. I have like eight or ten from you. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please thumb it up. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. Share it on your Facebook and Twitter and everything like that. So as I said, I'll post the breakdown trailer Tuesday, but I'll record it Monday. I'll basically go through frame by frame, or, you know, um, I'll go in quite depth with my review. Um, you guys will see when I post it anyway. But yeah, if you like this video, please thumb it up. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. Share it on your Facebook, Twitter, and everything like that. If you are um, if you have a YouTube account and you want to subscribe, just click, click subscribe below. You don't have to do anything else. And then you'll see my videos in your YouTube feed. Along with whoever else you've subscribed to or whatever. Um, if you don't have a YouTube account, just sign up. It doesn't take too long. And, uh, and then you can subscribe to my channel. It's all completely free anyway. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video. So for all of your Hollyoaks, for all of your Hollyoaks Q and A's, reviews, predictions, character spotlights, discussion topics, and more, stay tuned to my channel. Cheers.